What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're going to be doing a quick video. Um, we're going to be setting up the second 670 4GB card. I've been telling you guys I'm going to be getting this so I can do SLI and so I can have better performance with NVIDIA Surround. So uh, here it is, just came in the mail, and we're going to unbox it. Well, we're not going to unbox it, we already have an unboxing on my channel. I'm just going to open it up, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up SLI real quick. So I'll be right back, and I'm going to open this up. So as you can see, it's machine we already have. 1670 in here, uh, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos. And we're going to put the second one right up here in this other PCI 3.0 X16 lane. Uh, it should fit in here pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and find all of the... Uh, I'm going to have to find all of the um, cords and cables and bridges for SLI. But we're going to pop it in there. We, you can see I got it out. It's sitting here on the desk. It actually looks slightly different than the 670 I have in there. It's the same exact model, super clocked 4 gigabyte EVGA, but for some reason the back plate is a bit more open on this one's GPU. I don't know if it's a new design thing they've been doing EVGA, uh, but my current one does not have that, and it's a bit odd. All right, so we got the card here. We're going to go ahead and line it up here. What you're going to do is just line it up with the blue slot. The pin should fit in just fine. And then it'll snap. That clip down there just snapped. And once it's in, usually you could just leave it there. That looks pretty nice, both cards together. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a screw. I'd recommend screwing in the bottom first. You can see me screwing it in on the side here. So we've got it in there nice and secure. As you can see, there's two PCI cords that go in there on the first graphics card. We're going to need to do the same on the second one. We're also going to need to put SLI bridge um, across this SLI connector, uh, which you're going to usually have with your motherboard. And if your motherboard did not come with it, which it probably shouldn't have, uh, you can just go ahead and purchase it online. Just look for a two-way SLI bridge and make sure it'll fit your uh, distance. So I'm going to go find those really quick. They're in my parts bin somewhere, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it open here, and this is a very simple, bendy uh, bridge. This bridge is more meant uh, for when you're trying to bridge together two cards that are in a distanced length, as you can see, or close together, so it has a little bit of variation. Uh, some bridges actually will have a, uh, a, a standardized length, which is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, but as you can see, it's on there now. It doesn't matter which uh, SLI you put it onto. Uh, the point of the second one is so if you have a third card or a fourth card, um, you can go ahead and SLI those together. But it is on there, nice. And the next step is to take the PCI, it doesn't say it anywhere on here, but this is a PCI connector for my modular power supply. Uh, it connects up to one of these 12 volt rails. We'll go ahead and do that. So you can see us down there. If you can see, the, it's kind of dark. You're just going to connect that up to your rail, and until it clicks, clicked in there. And we're going to go ahead, since I have a little bit of cable management uh, OCD, I'm going to go ahead and route it back behind the back, and uh, I'll cut back in a second. We've got the PCI connector coming in through the back. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this th thing in here. It's a bit finicky. This one's a bit of a stretch, so I'm going to have to mess around with this for a second, one second. Okay, so we got them hooked up, uh, even if it does look kind of ugly. To be honest, I mean, that was a hell of a process. Um, there's not enough slack on the cables, so it started pulling on my 20-pin th uh, 3.0, uh, USB 3.0 cable. And it probably bent a bunch of pins in there. Um, it was also a pain just to get it to, like, fit on here so I can, you know, kind of see the GTX 670 logo through the case. And it just looks bad overall. I'm a little worried that it's going to be jutting out too much and it's going to hit my uh, side panel fan. So I'm a little worried here. A uh, big knock at Cougar there for giving a pretty short and pretty uh, poor quality um, PCIe cable. So, I mean, overall it worked, but it definitely was uh, not the quality I was expecting from a P PSU that actually had a lot of great ratings. Uh, but then again, it's not a PSU that's commonly used with an SLI setup. Anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, all buttoned up. Let's get the panel on, and uh, let's go ahead and fire it up and see what happens here. Okay, so we're going to do something that I don't normally do here. I put the back panel on, but I'm going to keep the side panel on, just so if I need to mess around with anything, I have ease of access. 
So we're going to boot it up here. And for some reason, it is not staying on. So it's probably something to do with the way I set up this card. So we're going to go ahead. Wait, is it working this time? All right, might be working this time. I was going to say, it wouldn't make much sense that the motherboard would short over a graphics card, especially considering my displays are hooked up to the other card. Let's go ahead and see what's going on, on the display side of things. Okay, so maybe there's one issue here. I'm not getting any visuals on my displays here. So we're going to have to go ahead and mess around with this maybe. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got it actually doing things now. That's always good. Uh, what we did is we switched, like I said, the... Or did I say? I don't know. Uh, we switched the video devices, as in the monitors, into the top graphics slot, the top graphics card. And we did that because I felt that that's the primary slot, so that's what it's looking for when it comes to uh, boot up and uh, monitors and stuff. So uh, now I think it's going to show this crappy resolution because these cards are not configured in SLI. The card that it's hooked up into is default. Not sure if I need to install drivers for a second card. I don't believe I have to. But I guess we'll find out. Um, for some reason the control panel is not showing up here. Alright, so for some reason it's not recognizing the card entirely. I probably need to install drivers. So I'll be right back after I do that. Alright, some good news here. The driver thing did work. So uh, now we can go ahead and span displays with surround. SLI is now enabled, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply on the surround thingy. Alright, so it's saying that it's saying one of my displays will not be used. It wants me to connect one display to the GPU. Okay, so let me go ahead and mess around with this real quick. Okay, so I got it to work, and I'll tell you why, or how. Um, I connected one of the DVIs, if you can see that, to the first card, and the second one to the second card, and I have the HDMI on the first card. I think the primary card is supposed to have two of the three displays in it, and uh, the HDMI wouldn't go onto the second display, so I needed to separate the DVIs, uh, which is kind of odd, but it's what it wanted me to do. Um, now what? Okay, so now we're doing surround, as you can see, um, which is basically where you drag the displays appropriately, which is like that. Hit apply. I think I've done a video on this before, but I just want to show you guys how it looks once it's working. Yes, we're going to do this, because you have the option after you do it, but it's just so you do have the option to have adjusted bezels. I know that there's a lot of problems with adjusted bezels, like the fact that when you drag an item into that area, it disappears. Um, but it's not that bad. And it's good to have the option. So there you go. And it looks like now we will finish. And it looks like we are now set up on NVIDIA Surround using both graphics cards, which means I can start benchmarking. I actually have some benchmarks ready to go here. I did some with a single card, and I'm going to go ahead and upload a separate video showing you guys benchmarks for both cards together. So that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.